And here we have Andy Hale, who's from Troop 25. And how old is Troop 25, Andy? We are 94 years old. We're the third oldest troop in the country. Wow. And the oldest one, in, oldest longest running one in... Yes, in Long Beach and the third oldest in the United States. Yeah. And I've known Andy for a long time. We've worked together on Troop 25 and Pac-25. Yes. So awesome. Nice to see you, Andy. Okay, so hi Andy. Hello. Nice to see you again. Glad to see you up here in Camp Talkwitz this week. Yes. And um, I wanted you to just share a little bit about, um, you know, what you were just telling me with uh, Troop 25, how you started, what's your relationship to the troop, and why you are there now. Well, I started 55 years ago. Uh, a dear friend of mine, uh, if I got a patch here, it was the 50th anniversary of Boy Scouts. Oh, cool. They were going on a weekend trip, said, you want to come? Says, yeah. Well, that weekend trip has lasted 55 years. And where was that? That was in Silverado Park in Long Beach. Oh, really? And, uh, so the 50th, 50th anniversary? Yeah. We just had the oh. 100th anniversary oh, cool, cool, cool. two years ago. Yeah. And, uh, our troop is the third oldest troop in the United States. We've been meeting on the corner of 5th and Pacific, the Methodist Church, for 93, 94 years. Uh, I've been with them for 55. I'm not the senior man. Uh, Doug scary has been with the troop since he was a boy in 1945. I would love to have some words with Doug. Cause we I know will arrange Doug, yeah. that for you to, to meet Doug and talk to him. And they have, just for you on the camera, they have a beautiful um, layout inside the room that they meet with little huts and all kinds of cool stuff. You're going to love it. We built the cabins in 1935 in the old church building in the basement. And uh, they're made out of two by fours, actual two by fours. And we were noticing about six months ago with 75 or so years of weekly use, the thresholds going into each of the cabins. Uh -huh the corners are worn down about half an inch. Oh my gosh, that's so cool because yes. like I went up to Virginia City and you see that on the sidewalk, you know, where yes. they use these logs and they've been worn out by all the traffic that's passed. And it just makes you feel good, right? Because it's kind yes. of like this feeling of, of um, you know, the history that's Con been by all yes. the people that have gone over yeah. the threshold. Yeah. All but one of our leaders were boys in the troop mm -hmm. and it gives wonderful continuity. Uh, you know, they joke you cannot go home, but in Troop 25 you can because how, how long you've been. We use the cook kits we bought in 1945, oh, really? 1948. You know, you're going to uh, have to show those to me. Yeah, I, I will do that. We have them here in camp. Oh, okay, uh, cool. I might, the, I might uh, drop by. Yeah, and it's just uh, when they come back and they bring their boys back to you, mm -hmm. that is one. We have one boy now that he's a third generation of that family that I have had. And uh, it's a wonderful sense of uh, continuity and family, yes. and uh, they're all extended family. Tell me about uh, where you operate. You're in downtown Long Beach? We're downtown Long Beach, 5th and Pacific, mm -hmm. at the Methodist Church. Uh, we've uh, been meeting there, I said, 93, 94 years. And um, each... Um, each scout unit has a church or community a, a, a sponsor, organization that sponsors them. A sponsoring them. organization. Mm -hmm. And who's yours? And, uh, ours is what well, has been for many years. It was the First United Methodist Church at that corner, but we closed that congregation down and have formed a mission church there. This is ecclesiastical stuff you probably don't know, but uh, Belmont Heights United Methodist Church at Fifth at Third and Terminal is our official sponsor. Yeah. You have a story to tell um, of any one cool story from your childhood days with the unit. Tomahawk, and when I, I when I was an eleven year old boy, I was at uh, Will J. Reed camp out. Well, we'd forgot our cooking utensils, so I had it. and I was scrambling eggs with it. Oh, with your tomahawk? Yes. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and a lesson I learned that day I have never forgotten, especially as an adult. Wait, wait, let me guess. Can I guess? Oh, you'll never guess. Okay, well, I thought that yeah. it might be that a tomahawk doesn't make a good spoon. Oh, no, it works <laughs> great. If you know okay. how to handle it, it's, it's great. Okay. But I was standing there scrambling eggs, and two scouters came walking uh -huh. in, men. They're Smokey the Bear hat and their short uh -huh. pants. And, look, and one looked down at me with this tomahawk, and... He said what to me, to this day, is the dumbest thing I have ever heard an adult say. Which is? I have no idea why a boy would want a thing like that. 
I looked at him. So he got to be crazy. Look, he can scramble eggs. I can chop wood with it. Hey, he can throw it at a log. Man, that's a lot of fun.